When Mayor Shlomo Danzinger, insert joke here, refused to allow a pride flag to be flown for the anniversary of the Stonewall riots, he said it was because uh, they would have to fly satanic flags and swastikas also. I'd swallow that question number one. Surfside, Miami-Dade County says no to pride. I think this city is in Alabama, not in Miami. <laughs> Here's to Alabama, Shlomo. Right. Well, Here's the thing. This is, uh, if for people outside of South Florida watching this, the, the phrase Surfside, or the city Surfside may ring a bell because it was just at a year ago, hmm. one of their condo buildings, high-rise condos, Champlain structurally the Champlain. collapsed. Champlain. Right. It just collapsed. 97 and now, people killed. 97 people were killed. And now... Everybody else who's in an older high-rise building, by that I mean something 70s construction or earlier, they're all paying higher property taxes. They're paying higher insurance taxes because there's so much liability on these things. These are the real problems of people living in Surfside. So the mayor needs to address the real problems and not oppress his citizens and not to make light of the fact of what happened. But the fact is, in that city... The flagpoles may be the most structurally sound things because they are not <laughs> attending to their infrastructure or their real needs. I, I've got a quick question, and not to deflect or, or take away from your point because it's absolutely uh, true, and especially all the old people that live in those towers. Um, how much did your taxes go up there? <laughs> uh, any other thoughts about uh, you, what went on with Shlomo? I, 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 wait, wait. wait. We just put Shlomo's picture on now. Yeah. Oh, he still has my mushroom stamp. Yeah, this is... Um, it's kind of dreamy looking. There, but it's you know, kind of whatever. dreamy But you know, what, the, what is a kind of a shame, though, that, that Surfside was in, uh, in the news in such a way that brought uh, positive energy toward them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like loving mm-hmm. energy. And this is not bringing loving yeah. energy at all. Yeah. Well, and you know, Miami Dade is very mixed of hardcore conservative and super super liberal. Uh, Mayor Shlomo is an Orthodox Orthodox Jew. He's the first um, re- uh, traditional Orthodox Jewish mayor that the area's had. But one in three people in Surfside are Orthodox Jews. Yeah. They're conservative. Now, I, I don't know this, uh, David. Does that mean if you're an Orthodox Jew in Surfside, you might know because you live in Miami Beach, uh, does that mean that they in any way are anti-LGBT? The, not necessarily, but it's the more conservative branch of Judaism. It's it's the more traditionalist. Um, even the more traditionalist Jews uh, tend to be much more liberal than some of the quote-unquote Christians. But <laughs> right, it's not like the right wing. Yeah, the, but it, it is going to be on the more conservative side of the moderate spectrum. Is this what justifies the ignoramus philosophy that we'll have to fly swastikas and, and no, that's just bad. no, that's I just him. I mean, that's a really that's such a far reach, and it's yeah. also really. It's a strong man. Really offensive when you think it's coming from someone who's Jewish. You're like, yeah, yeah. like, wow. So that that takes a lot of chutzpah yeah. to equate yeah. it. I see how you did that. I like mm-hmm. that. All right, let's move on. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.